This is a periodical cicada nymph. And he's not alone. He has at least four friends climbing this tree with him. And pretty soon they will molt, transform into adults. Let's see if we can find the others. There's some shells from earlier. One. One's making its way up high. There's a couple more down here. Let me see if I can find them. They're quick little climbers, that's for sure. Here's one here on the bottom of the uh, Bottom of the birdhouse, that's probably not a very smart place to be. But these little guys aren't very smart. This one looks a little bit larger than the others. This one may be a decim. Magicicata neotradecim, I believe. The smaller ones are Magicicata tradecassini. And they're going to be more common throughout this area. Okay. There's a dirty one right here. Definitely Neotradecim. Definitely a decim nymph. No doubt about that. Much, much bigger than the rest. Yeah, he's gotten himself dirty. He must have come out of the mud. These things are appearing out of nowhere. Just since I've been here, they've they, I've gone from one to just six or seven. Got another one here. This one probably Cass and I. Quick little guy. This one's gonna go pretty high into the trees. Let's check the ground here where they come from. Not seeing any more down low. Here's our big one up here. Got one climbing up here. Okay, we're getting cicadas emerging now. It's later at night. Got a camel cricket here. Just thought I'd zoom in on that. We've got a nymph still not going, but if you go up the tree, we've got this one part way out. And let's see, if we go further up the tree, we've got one also part way out. Zoom really close on you. And we've got a really ill-fated thing here. We've got one emerging <laughs> on top of another one, and this is probably going to end badly for both of them. Be interesting to see. This one's actually starting to move its legs now. Be interesting to see if that one can actually pull up with the other one on top of it, and what will become of the other one when it does. This one is getting his head out. Interesting capture there. We got another nymph climbing up. Got another nymph climbing up. They are not hard to find. They're everywhere. There's probably 30 to 40 just around the base of this tree. I mean, there's just Tons of them. We've got a couple here that I've been trying to get a photograph of. It's been proving more difficult than I'd hoped. Mostly because of their white coloration. It's really overloading the, the camera light. These two are about the same stage of development. Let's go farther up the tree. Got 
got one up here. Not too many up high on this tree. It's a shell from earlier. And we've got this guy. And another nymph that hasn't got started yet. We'll keep an eye when they start expanding their wings. And that'll be very soon for some of these guys. Alright, here's one that fell. We're going to try to save him. I don't know if I can. But if he's strong enough, I can get him to grab onto my finger here. Yes, got him, and be very careful here, very careful, get him up on the tree, get him a hold of the tree, we can save his wings, come on, grab the tree, grab the tree, not my finger, the tree, here we go, to the tree, to the tree. There. That will save his wings, or it should save his wings. If he'll be still. His leg's broken, but he'll make it with a broken leg if the wings come out right. Now, as for this other one, or is this a so I may not be able to save this one. Although he does seem to be emerging normally. We'll keep an eye on him. See what happens. Alright, we're still keeping an eye on this guy. He still seems to be emerging pretty normally. I'm going to try to stay here with him because there's so many on this tree. If there's anything else I want to see... Uh, it's not going to be hard to find. We've still got nymphs everywhere. Now, the one that we rescued just a minute ago looks like the wings are coming out well. So, our uh, rescue may have been successful here. This one is ever so close to pulling itself free. And what it's doing here is it's waiting for its legs to strengthen. So when they come out, their legs are soft and uh, not very, you know, not very mobile because they have to soften up to get out of the exoskeleton. So this position that it's in right now is used to, uh, well, it's basically used to harden the legs up and get them ready. When the legs have hardened properly, the cicada will pull itself free the rest of the Alright, this girl's strong enough. She's going to get a hold of my finger now. This is the second rescue. As you can see, the first one's looking really, really good. Although a uh, Daddy Longlegs has found it. This is just an ill-fated cicada here. Go away, Daddy Long Legs. All right. Now, rescue number two. You just crawl yourself up to this tree. If you want to live, you'll hold on tight. There you go. Your wings should be saved as well. So, we have you, and you, uh, we might get your wings going, I don't know, the second one doesn't look too good, does it? And then of course we have you, who should turn out fine. Alright, done all I can for these two, we'll see what happens.